So there was a tragic, devastating fire that destroyed Markel Paper Products. Well, most of it. And I was there on the site today. I do want to tell you that last night, our firefighters were on the scene. There were three companies. And in collaboration with other towns that sent their respective firefighters, they were able to create a demarcation line to prevent the fire from spreading to chemical and power plants that are in the area. Because that, that could have been disastrous. I mean, the fire in of itself, eight, nine alarm fire. But if those power plants or chemical plants were set on fire, we're talking about something totally different today. So I just want to express my gratitude and tell our firefighters how proud I am of them, the surrounding towns as well. But miraculously, there were no injuries. And there were employees at Markel when the fire started. People ask, well, what happened? You're dealing with paper products. It's bound to happen. You're, you're going to have fires. They've had fires in the past. And quite frankly, what really posed the problem and only exacerbated the situation was the weather. Think about this. There were winds, we had the snow squall, so that compounded the matter. And unfortunately, Elmwood Park Fire Department, they tried their best and they couldn't contain it. And then, like I stated, because of the inclement weather, it got far worse than anyone could have imagined. And now we're talking about 500 employees that potentially could be displaced. So I have reached out to people in Patterson that work at Markel, particularly the gentleman who is the president of the employees union at the factory, and I pledge my support. Let them know that if there are any opportunities in Patterson as far as employment is concerned, we will help. I know they've been in touch with St. Joe's. We called the Workforce Development Board. We want to train some of these individuals. Let them know about any job fairs that are coming up. In fact, we do have a job fair coming up on February 9th. That should be something they should attend. We do have the marijuana, medical marijuana license that's coming. So there's going to be a f cannabis factory in Patterson that could be 150, maybe even 200 jobs with the dispensary. We also want to help them as far as unemployment insurance is concerned. I think the state is going to step up, and I think the federal government is as well, considering the extenuating circumstances. And Quite frankly, we just want to let them know that there are, if there are any services that we can provide, if the municipal government can be instrumental in assisting any of these individuals, we're here. And I also express the same sentiment to ownership, because I'm sure it's, it's a very difficult period for them. And quite frankly, think about Markel. Think about the sign. That was an iconic sign on Route 80. People knew they were close to home when they were driving along Interstate 80 and now it's gone. And that's what really hurts as well. The fact that although it was symbolic, it did stand for something. It stood for paper products and hundreds of jobs, several hundreds of jobs.